I actually believe that it changed Europe dramatically, but it didn't change the world much. Because uh, for the world, there is a very different story of, I would say, east-west tangle or east-west divide which remains. It's, all, it's only not today between socialism and capitalism, it's between China and the US. But in Europe, definitely, the Berlin Wall was profound and was the end of the division of Europe. And 20 years later, you see the old Eastern European countries, members of the EU, and there is simply no visible division. There is still plenty of differences between East and West, but it's much less profound than it was 20, 20 years ago. There are new walls as such. I mean, the Israeli-Palestinian one or between the US and Mexico. But I think that the most dangerous wall is actually invisible. And it's a growing wall between the rich and the poor in the world. And that's something that you can see it in Spain, you can see it all over Europe, in migrants coming here from faraway places, drawn by the nice lifestyle we have hoping to have part of it. And I believe this is, this is not something new, it has always been around. It's just that, I would say in the last few decades, uh, the richness of the West escalated incredibly. And when you think of it that for much of the world, one of the biggest worries is to have enough to eat. While for our part of the world, one of the biggest worries is obesity. I think that says it all. We have completely different worries for much of the planet. And that is something that we should, I think, at least care about, if not worry about.